we're at a Cocker Bottoms Waterfowl Refuge and Wildlife Management Area, and we're talking about a lot about quail today. And one of the misunderstandings about uh, quail management in, in native grasses. Native grasses uh, are, can be important, uh, but typically the the planted native grass fields that we've we've uh, recommended or had in the past are way too thick and they're, the, the structure is not there, not the good structure for, for quail in particular. People often plant it and, and they'll see it and the entire field will be that one or two or three species of grass and that's not what we're looking for for quail management. If you look down here, I mean there's 50, 60, sometimes 75 different plant species, and a lot of these are important uh, food species and cover species for a whole variety of birds, but today we're talking mostly about quail. I just wanted to give you a, a brief look at where the, if the, the grass component is about 30% or so or less, then that's good. What I see a lot of times though is the native grasses will be 80, 90, 100% of the entire field and that is not good. It might be good for rhinoceros management or something, but it's not good for quail management. Okay. We're, we're looking at a, a planted native grass field and I think anybody that asks me about quail management always going, what did you plant? Everybody's looking for that magic bean, you put it in there, zing, quail. And I think we were maybe looking for that when we started planting the native grasses. And this field was one of the early ones that I planted at the recommended rate, and you can see how thick it was. Before I planted these grasses, we had a lot of quail use on this field. I have zero now that I've seen. So these, these native grasses get so thick that they don't have the correct structure, they don't have the, the right forbs are not released to allow quail to use these areas. You might get skate color out of it, you might get a deer to fawn in it, you know, or something like that. But as far as quail management, this is definitely not the, the direction to go. Quail are not a grassland bird. They are an early successional bird. They are, they've got to have about 30% woody structure in this to thrive. A lot of times you see the pictures and they're in just grasses and they're flushing them up for the picture and usually those cases they've probably been fed in those areas or released in those areas or something like that. But I can just tell you that here that we've had almost zero use by quail in these planted native grass fields. One, one thing is the structure's wrong. In the winter, all this will lodge over. It'll all fall down like that. And it'll all be laying on the ground right here. So it doesn't have the structure that a quail can get through. You might as well mold it. This was less than 30% grass. The tendency then that would be okay and it'll carry the fire. But I, even, even these tall grasses, typically, unless there's something else holding them over by the end of the winter, they're all gonna be lodged over laying there and not a good structure for quail at all. So. This is what we ended up with, and we'll be thinning these fields. You can do it with herbicides, or you can do it with a disc. Herbicides are usually the best. But we, we, I go through it. Actually, this has been thinned with a disc, and it comes back pretty, pretty quickly. So once you get them established, uh, now where these native grass are out west, and they get eight inches of rain, not 78 inches of rain, and this year, 88 inches of rain, that's a whole different plant. So the, the, in, this, in our neck of the woods here, these, these uh, native, planted native grasses tend to take over the entire area. So, would not recommend this for quail management.